Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to answer a question that came up in my public Facebook group, I think, about categories and what kind of categories you should choose on Etsy. And if it's not accurate, does it hurt your listing? It might. So let's go into Etsy, the listing manager, because I want to show you how the categories work and how to find the one that's most accurate for your listing. I'm in the listing manager and I've chosen add a new listing. So this is a brand new listing and we're going to just pretend like I'm going to list something. But what I wanted to show you is a couple of interesting keywords that came up. And one of them was the keyword gift box. And that was the question that this person in the group had. I forget who it was. I'm sorry. But what you want to do is look at the category here. Now, she's selling gift boxes with things inside it. Now, just to be clear on Etsy, you have to make everything that's in the gift box yourself. You can't use other people's products in a gift box, but you can do it if you make like Bath and Body or something like that. And you have enough different things that you can put in a gift box and you make everything yourself. That is legal on Etsy to sell. But if you're putting other people's products in, even if they're handmade, you can't do that. So I just wanted to get that out of the way. But let's say that you do have a gift box. And this is the an interesting thing with categories because it does show, let me find my cursor. Here we go. Let's put in gift box for the, okay, so gift in gift boxes. And I did put in gift box before. Now, when you put in gift box in the category, a few things come up. First, spa kits and gifts. And depending on what you have in your gift box, like let's say, let's just use soap and bath and body as an example, okay? So let's say you've got a gift box that has some lotion and soap and shampoo that you've made all yourself. So you could put that in spa kits and gifts, okay? If you just choose gift boxes, then that could be just wrapping paper. And that's the problem that she was coming up with. She said, is it a problem if the final category here is gift boxes, but everything above it is wrapping paper and party supplies and that kind of thing. That could be a problem because you wanna make sure that your categories are accurate and really describe what the listing is. So what you wanna do is look for the things that is the most accurate based on what your product is mainly. And if you're selling soap or whatever, and it could be spa kits, that would be accurate. It's clearly not gonna be chocolates, okay? and probably not favor bags. So, I mean, there's a lot of different things that gift box could show up in. And then to make it more interesting, if you put in gift box says, it gives you different options. So what you should do when you're choosing a category is go in and find a few different keywords that describe your listing and see which categories come up that are the most accurate. And sometimes when you choose one of these, let's see, I'm gonna choose spa kits and gifts. It will show you here what the keywords are that, well, this is categories, but they use these as keywords and they use them for sorting when people are filtering categories and that kind of thing. But they do use these as keywords that people can search to find your listings. So you want them to be accurate. So people would find this gift box full of soap and lotions and stuff in this appropriate category and that's fine. It doesn't have the word gift box in there anyway or anywhere, but that is okay, because this is more accurate than putting gift box and having a whole bunch of wrapping paper things come up. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you is my situation. Let's say I have cake decorations. Okay, so I sell cake decorations. That could be cake toppers and picks. That's not what I sell. I don't sell like those cake toppers that have a little stick and you stick it into the cake. I don't sell that. It could be weddings, decorations, cake toppers, but the high level category there is weddings. Not all of my stuff is for weddings, so I'm not sure about that. I do use that for some things. And that's something else. You can use different categories for different listings and then see which keywords get picked up. Because if you don't use the word weddings in any of your listings, but you have weddings in one of the categories, if you're found for wedding, then that tells you that that's a good keyword and the category is good. And you might want to move some of your other stuff into that category. But you just have to look down and see. So let's say that it's not really centerpieces. I'm not going to choose that. Uh, let's see, home and living, food and drink, baked goods, cakes. It's not really a cake. I'm not selling cakes. It could be party decor, but not really. I think it's really cake toppers, but that's in the weddings category. So I don't know, cake, craft supplies, kitchen supplies, baking and cake decorations, cake toppers and picks, cake toppers. This is probably the most accurate. So I'm going to choose that. But then I want you to look to see what else it does. In some situations, it will grab more than just the keyword that you chose, and it'll put more of those subcategories in. And these are all going to be included, and they're all going to be keywords that you can be found for. And I do use this a lot, this category, because it has so many different keywords that are now attached. The categories and subcategories are now attached to my listing. 
And every now and then I'll get a weird keyword about fermented items. And I'm always thinking, why, why did I get that? And then I realize that it's because it throws food and fermenting in because it's in home and hobby and kitchen supplies. So sometimes Etsy will put things in multiple categories and subcategories, just depending on which you choose. And that gives you more opportunities to be found in search because these are all used as keywords. Now, let's say that I wanted to add it myself because it does say down here, if you don't see your items category, try being more specific and you can add them manually. Sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. And if you're not sure, you can go and kind of mess around with this and see if it works. Let's do mine craft supplies and tools. And then you open this box up and let's see, blah, 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 blah. kitchen supplies. I think it's kitchen supplies and baking and cake decorations. Okay. And then there's another subcategory, cake toppers and picks. And then there's another one, cake toppers, and that's the end. So if I save that one, it basically puts the same things in that it just had. So it has the same choices because this is pretty much the same category that it just gave to me to choose from. And then you can also go down here and choose, you know, anything that this is actually applies to. This is not really, it says party and gifting is auto-selected, but kids could use these, you know, I mean, don't, don't get too crazy and choose too many of these, but if they're accurate, go ahead and choose them. So that's the categories. You do need to be careful with this because like I said, if you do, let's, let's go back to the gift boxes. If you do gift boxes and then you choose this because it has gift boxes at the end. If you choose this one, that's telling Etsy that these are craft supplies. It's paper, party, parties and gifting, packaging. It's not what you have to sell. So this is going to miscategorize it and put it in a different situation. And Etsy is not going to be able to figure it out as easily. And people aren't going to be able to find it under the correct category. So always think about your listing and don't get, you know, don't get married to a specific keyword. Think of different keywords that could describe it and try to be as accurate as you can based on the content of the listing and not just the high level description of gift box or whatever it may be. Give this video a thumbs up, post any comments if you have questions, and I will talk to you later.